Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 7th through the 13th. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising Signs. So Sag, for this reading I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck along with the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, and so at the bottom of the deck, I have the devil. Interesting, let's see here. The devil obviously can represent the sign of Capricorn. You do have some earth energy here in this spread, so maybe a Capricorn is significant for some of you. For others, the devil can be something. It can be a behavior, a situation, an environment. It could be something that's no longer serving you, so maybe needing to take back your power, take back control. Um, maybe some of you needing to free yourself from this maybe toxic environment or if you're doing something that's just not the healthiest, needing to you know take back your power, take back your control. Um, with the Queen of Swords as the overall energy, some of you definitely could be doing that. Um, using the sword, severing ties with a behavior, something that's no longer serving you. Um, with the Queen of Swords, she will use the sword if she has to. So uh, no matter if you're male or female, you know, she can be a very fierce, serious energy, serious character. And so I think that some of you are using this sword if you've been stressing about something or fearing the worst. You know, this is the week that you're taking back your power, taking control of your thoughts. Um, the Queen of Swords is also, you know, she can be a truth seeker, someone who wants the truth, someone who wants answers, um, someone who wants justice. Um, she's, you know, very sharp, highly intelligent, pays attention to the details. So, of course, you know, that could be energy that you're working with here this week. You know, very, very maybe determined, very focused upon something. And we're starting with death. So... Death represents great change, endings and new beginnings. Something will never be the same. So maybe some of you have been in a toxic relationship or an environment that wasn't serving you, but we have death here. So something ending, so something else can come in. With death, there's always a new beginning. And so if something is ending for you, I feel like with death and the star, Sag, this is like confirming that you're on the right path. This is for me a very powerful spiritual energy. It's also a healing energy, but I feel like for many of you, this is confirming that you're on the right path. Something is ending, but it's creating that space for something new to come in. And you know, if you've been experiencing a lot of fear around this, fearing the worst, maybe felt stuck or trapped, just not in the best situation or environment, you know, that is coming to an end with death here. And the star is also a very optimistic energy. So some of you, you know, this is something that you want. I feel like this is something that, you know, you're very optimistic about. You're ready for this. With death and then the eight of cups here, you're emotionally ready to move on. You're emotionally ready to move away from something that you know, emotionally wasn't serving you any longer. So I feel like you're moving forward. You're on the right path with the star. You're on the right path. You're making the right decisions. Three of cups, you know, you could be moving towards, you know, celebrating this. This is a very social energy. So for those of you that have this ending, this new beginning that's coming in, you know, you could be celebrating this. And you know, the star can be a wish card. So maybe some of you, this is like a wish come true that's finally happening. And now you're celebrating this, spending time with friends, family. And I'm just seeing what else I get here. Um, we do have some ear energy here. There could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person who's significant. With the Page of Swords, you know, some of you could have dealt with some delays around this matter, but also, you know, I see him as my little pessimistic page, and I think that some of you were maybe fearing the worst or a little weary when it comes to this, maybe just not sure. 
but with the six of rods this speaks about confidence and feeling proud of yourself it's a card of victory and success but I feel like here for some of you you are gaining back your control or your power feeling more empowered and leaving behind something that's no longer serving you and maybe some of you previously you know you could have been on the fence with this or you know lacking confidence but here this week you could be you know definitely moving forward confidently here at this time very sure of yourself you know very confident in the decisions that you're making and so of course for some of you this could be your energy as well king of pentacles i always see him as someone who makes you know good decisions especially when it comes to you know the home family matters or anything to do with finances or business so if this is on the business front or it's something to do with family this could be your energy very confident moving forward very focused um, and then of course for others this could be a capricorn this could be an earth energy who's significant capricorn taurus virgo but we have the king of pentacles and i have judgment here so could even be your boss if you're awaiting on a decision from your boss with judgment um, and six of rods that decision is on its way it's coming in uh, you're going to be very successful with this decision if it's a legal matter if you have a lawsuit that's been pending that's that's on its way I feel like things are looking good for you you might have dealt with you know some delays maybe even feeling stuck previously maybe not much happening but you know I've been seeing that quite a bit with a lot of the other signs it's it's kind of like a theme where uh, energetically speaking things are happening a lot of the signs are going from you know dealing with slower paced energies to things now starting to happen so some of you you know that decision could be coming in if you are waiting on a decision if you have to make a decision you will make the right decision and with judgment in the star you know your intuition is speaking to you you have messages from spirit that are coming in so definitely 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 listen to your intuition you have that spiritual guidance around you Judgment can represent second chances, rebirth, you rising up from the ashes. So some of you could have literally just went through like some sort of rebirth process um, and you're healing and you're moving forward and I think you're optimistic about the future and things are looking really good for you guys, really good for you guys. I think that you left something that wasn't the best for you or you're in that process right now and the best thing you can do is move forward create that space for new beginnings to come in and just stay focused yeah let's pull you an additional guidance card Sagittarius what else does Sagittarius need to know please show me additional guidance for Sagittarius Wow, another sign got this. I can't remember who, but another sign got this. And it's home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Beautiful. So with death here, some of you could be moving house. Uh, definitely could be moving house. Could also be changing jobs. Um, your household situation is improving. Uh, for some of you, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Um, and so I will see this card come up when, yes, you're adding people, you know, members to your household. But also I can see this come up when people are leaving as well. That's not always a bad thing. So some of you adding members to your home, some, of, some could be leaving. That's not a bad thing. And then I also see this card very, very often um, when there's a pregnancy. So, um, you know, if you're finding out that you're pregnant or, you know, you're welcoming a baby, maybe some of you are giving birth, congratulations. I do see this often when a pregnancy is significant. So congratulations. Others, you know, maybe a house move, it could be a job, a job change or a house move is significant. Um, but yeah, overall, again, you're, you're going through this, you know, this great change and, you know, the energies that you have to work with Sag are really amazing. So 
Uh, I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not sub subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you guys a great week.